Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about my off-season wish list for the Dallas Cowboys. This is serious. That means cap mode time, if I can get the cap on right today. Uh, so, yeah, man, just enjoying the uh, divisional NFL playoffs right now. Pretty good games. Uh, but it does bring out the, uh, the feeling in me that the Cowboys just had a disappointing season. All right? And... Uh, for me, it's always on my mind. I'm constantly thinking about the Cowboys this weekend with just a lot of reflection on the Cowboys. Um, but let's talk about my list, all right? So take a look at this here. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about each one of these here. So right now, um, the main thing for me is the Cowboys in the offseason, they need to stay out of the news. And I'm, mainly I'm talking about the players. In particular, we're probably even talking about Ezekiel Elliott to be a little bit more exact all right um we saw ezekiel get, go through this whole process of the suspension and even while he was you know going through this process he was still popping up in the news you know whether it was pulling somebody's shirt down whether it was supposedly being in some altercation at a jail i mean at a at a bar um that kind of thing so let's for me big thing zeke please stay out of the limelight you know, um, hopefully this whole thing has, has uh, you know, brought him down and opened his eyes to what's more important, you know, football, right? Hopefully for him, it'll be football. So stay out of the news, Zeke, and, and any other players, okay? We can't, ha we can't afford any more suspensions. These guys need to know what they're putting in their bodies, you know? They got to they gotta know what they're putting in their bodies as far as supplements and as far as, you know, the drug usage and that kind of thing. So steroids hgh whatever you want to call it so let's hope that we stay clean this offseason stay out of the news stay clean the next thing we want to talk about we need to figure out what we're going to do with des bryant are they going to uh give him you know a uh are they going to tell him hey you need to take a, a pay cut or we're cutting you or can they work out some sort of doug free kind of deal where it's kind of a pay cut but kind of an extension with a club option if the cowboys want to pick it up that kind of thing so what do they do with this for me i think the cowboys ultimately at the end of the day will probably keep him but the other receivers i think you know there could be upgrades there uh, starting this this off season um so let's figure out what we're gonna do with Des. all right the next thing we gotta extend zach martin he is still under he is under contract this year so there's no real real big rush but it would be nice to get him extended and lower his uh, cap number and give us some more cap money to go after some decent people in the offseason. The other thing is, you're probably going to want to tag Demarcus Lawrence, so let's make that official. Um, for me, that's what I would do. I would, I would, I want to, I want to see another good, productive, healthy season from Demarcus Lawrence before considering a bigger contract. For me, the Cowboys may want to just, you know. A, uh, pretty much a one year for hire type deal a hired gun for the season that let him walk after this one and have somebody waiting in the wings but we'll see what they do there but for me the Marcus Lawrence will play this season with the Cowboys just in what capacity franchise tag or a long contract they need to figure out what we're gonna do at left guard and linebacker you know Jonathan Cooper do they bring him back he was serviceable but completely upgradable all right, that's how I see it. They gotta get beat. They gotta get better there. They gotta get uh, a blue chip player there. So, do they do that with free agency or do they do it with a draft pick? What are they gonna do with linebacker? Mainly, we're talking about Anthony Hitchens. It would it would be good to bring him on here, and we would have the three best linebackers on the field: Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, and Anthony Hitchens. If Hitchens walks or is out of our price range, then Look for the Cowboys to go to the draft, possibly early in the first round. Got to get a playmaker. So next thing is mid-tier free agents. That kind of goes hand in hand with what I just talked about with left guard and uh, linebacker. So kind of goes hand in hand, but we'll talk about it still. Cowboys, we know they're not going to spend the big money. We know they're not going to spend the uh, big money on big names. There's, Like I said before, there's a lot of older, familiar names you'll see out there that are they may catch your eye, but when you take a step back, they're old. Why are they 
why aren't they getting extended from where they're coming that kind of thing so um expect the cowboys to go with the more mid-tier lower tier guys um if you missed my video i have a video on that on those kinds of players names that will be out there they want to stay young but they want to have an affordable uh player so look at that video if you missed it and i'll have a link in the description for that and lastly for the offseason we have to draft playmakers you know whether that's going to be a wide receiver if they think calvin ridley is the guy do they move up to get him does he drop to him or you know do they maybe make some trades down maybe get christian kirk more of a slot guy not sure he's so much of an outside guy but i think the main thing and we're kind of seeing this when the cowboys talking about a dak friendly offense and i think that's receivers and a tight end you know gotta get a playmaking tight end okay so get playmakers don't just get a person to fill a need get somebody that can have an impact on the team if you're going to draft a tight end in the second round make sure this guy can contribute you know we don't want him stashed away not doing anything like a gavin escobar and find out he's a bust okay so if you're going to get a, a tight end make sure he's a playmaker make sure he can contribute and fill in the starter role once witten does decide to retire so we'll see about that if they go left guard in the draft same deal get you somebody that uh, is dependable someone that's not going to get hurt and somebody that uh, fits this kind of scheme of offense that we're running and uh, linebacker too man if you're going to get a linebacker make, make make sure he's a playmaker and he can come in here and contribute so those are my uh, big offseason wish lists right here early on in the offseason and uh I'll definitely have more draft videos here for you guys. I have some other players that I'm looking at right now. So expect more of those videos coming out soon. But that's it for now, guys. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. And I really appreciate you. Can't be here without any of you guys. And we're going to keep, you know, knocking out the videos here in the offseason. That's it now, guys. We'll see you for the next